Hey guys, uh, Flavien Vidal with Exotic Motor. So today we're with a 1991, no, 1993, uh, from like October or something like that. So so it's gonna be like a legal just now. Uh, Mitsuba Mitsubishi Bravo. So that's another uh, five valve per cylinder uh, van, uh, fuel injected also. And uh, it's not the nicest van. You will be able to to, to see that in a bit. But it's me mechanically it's pretty good, and uh, yeah, it's cheap also, so it compensates the, uh, the few cosmetic uh, defects that the car has. All right, so let's go over the defects of the car. Uh, as you can see, lots of little scratches, little bit everywhere. I think so. A friend, like so many Japan cars in Japan, have this problem, and uh, a friend told me that it's probably a car washes uh, that do that. They just scrape the whole thing and make those like uh, tiny scratches because the paint at the time was so bad in Japan uh, that it just uh, yeah it just made marks like that uh, all over the cars. So it's got the, it's got the infamous. Uh, this side is a little bit better. It's always worse on one side for some reason. But uh, yeah no. Also the stickers as you can see are not in super good condition. They are old. Uh, like 25 year old so of course uh, not uh, yeah not the nicest stickers ideally if you have like a printer or anything you want to, to reprint them it would be pretty cool because they, it's I mean it's kind of like a 90 stickers on Japanese cars are always pretty cool uh, you've got the DOHC 5 valve one right there with more thin scratches uh, also so the plastic of the very common also on all those uh, K van and K trucks. Uh, the, the plastic is not great, uh, but uh, meh, it's all right. Uh, I really like the look of it though. For for uh, for a K truck, it's a K van. It's like maybe one of the coolest looking one. Looks a bit more I don't know aggressive than usual. I'd say uh, tires are in very good condition. Up front also, no problem there. The air conditioning works on that one, which is actually pretty cool uh, because it never works. <laughs> so, um, what else? Oh yeah, that's like to go back on the Mitsubishi Bravo and its history. It's probably the rarest K van uh, that uh, was sold in Japan. Uh, early Mitsubishi Bravos, they are unicorns. Like I think it's the only one sold in Japan in the past three or four months. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're really rare. Uh, not uh, not many at all. Uh, well, that's about it for the outside. As usual, no rust. That's like your hoses, and you can see on the uh, on some like unprotected metal, but uh, under the door, everything like in the between the door there, like no no rust at all. Still, my camera. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, automatic, as you can see. It's the I think it's a turbo engine. It's like not very powerful, but it's still quite a bit faster than usual uh, than usual ones. So it, yeah, I don't know if it's turbo or not. The, the, um, the automatic transmission kind of ruins uh, the experience to know whether or not it's started here. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. There's like a in the induction sound. That's a bit different. Let me turn off the car. Revs up to 9,000 RPM, which is actually pretty impressive. Uh, air conditioning button right here. Uh, yeah, the seats are like a little bit dirty here. Could use a little cleanup, but uh, otherwise, uh, like yeah, the mileage of the car it indicates 50,000 kilometer, and it's believed actually to be real mileage. You will see the condition of the car is not uh, what you would expect from a 50,000 kilometer car, but the mileage is actually correct. Those cars tend to have like a tough life, like uh, lots of really really short trips, uh, with like carrying lots of shit and like you know dirty driver and and things like that. So uh, seats show the condition, like uh, definitely 50,000 kilometer seats. Uh, passenger seat also. Let's go over the. dashboard which is not in great condition there's some glue here so maybe something well not maybe something surely was glued uh, on the dash at one point so there's some glue residue there Up, typical little storage there 
uh, radio that's not uh, original also I don't even think that it may ah yeah it came with a radio the speakers hole here but uh, yeah the radio was replaced at one point um, up, uh, was it smoked in there's no traces of uh, cigarette ashes or anything in there so may not have been smoked in at all up let's go in the rear so as usual you can make the whole uh, the whole thing completely flat you see the seats they go in there you've got the toolkit right there that's like uh, locked here so if you need a spare wheel or anything that's right there little light right there that i just noticed i didn't know it was there Up, original bravo carpets so you can see like fairly quite a lot of space uh, in the in the rear electronic windows uh, here, since I'm there, like there's been some cut, I'm not sure why they did that, but uh, well, that's how it is. Uh, the rear is, yeah, it's not too bad. I can see for once, like the, the roof line is pretty good too. Let's check out the rear. Up. Uh, lots of room, as usual, with the trucks. Here you have access to the battery, which is right there. There it is. Just like keep it. Nothing else. You can try to check out the engine bay. I don't have so much battery on the GoPro, so that's why I'm trying to kind of like speed it up a little bit. Let's do that. How do we do that? that. Hop. Hop. And there you go. You can turn it on. Air conditioning turns on right away. This one is a refurbished alternator because it, uh, yeah, it broke down basically so we took a good used one to replace it finding new parts is not easy so Hop. now it's like a, it's actually charging the battery and that's about it with the walk around of this one all right well I guess I'll be right back with the, with the test drive be right back barefoot it's summer uh, all right so we're back with the van uh, shifts uh, okay it's like a little bit like I think it would need like a, a change of the gearbox oil uh, it's a little bit it's not super smooth could be smoother shifts well there's no problem there but uh, yeah I'll probably talk with uh, for mechanic to just change the oil uh, of the gearbox kind of make it sounds like there's a turbo but maybe there's not so I would uh, <laughs> I would have to look I honestly don't know <laughs> yeah I, I could have looked when I opened earlier so whatever okay I'm gonna go back in drive <laughs> so as I said yeah really cheap cavan cold air conditioning like drives well Suspensions are good. You can see it doesn't like uh, bounces when I uh, when I just tap on the brakes uh, like uh, well, K vans often do. Like, see really like nice dampening of the, the suspensions. Uh, tires are decent. 
uh, of course don't expect it to be like uh, super grippy but uh, yeah it does the trick you know there's no uh, it's okay then so <laughs> don't, it's not gonna do like uh, any progress when it comes to uh, driving dynamics to get out as always is Button, so the button gets stuck and then goes down. That's how they made it like uh, go up automatically, which is pretty weird. But great, can be in power mode. Power mode, you can see in there. Yeah, I don't think it's too. Yeah. That's a great way, great, great place to stop here. Super smart. Yeah, maybe not turbo. It's like too. There's no boost. There's no not the torque that a turbo engine should have. Even though those, are, yeah, the free speed automatic doesn't really help. To it's fast. It's fairly fast. But I think it's mostly due to the five valves per cylinder engine, not uh, to the. Go back into normal mode. So yeah, there's not a lot to say really. You have like a bunch of different setup for the. That's as fast as it goes. Oh, don't go there. If there's a hurricane. Oh, nice. Okay. Don't go there. If there's a. Don't go outside if there's a hurricane. But uh, yeah, it works. Uh, you've got a way to lock and unlock the door to the rear window in the back. Good. Yes. And uh, yeah, I mean it drives great. There's no <laughs> the radio works also. the video because of the music ah, that's some stuff to hold your card that's been like ripped once I guess can you see it on the video yeah a little bit of a rip there and on the other side yeah no I mean it's a basic K van there's really not a lot to say it drives well like vibrates a little bit when uh, when I'm on when I'm in gear so if I go back into neutral it stops vibrating but when I get in here, da -da 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 a little bit, probably some slightly old uh, engine mounts, nothing too bad. Uh, sh -sh -sh. What else? Yeah, that's about it, really. Not much to say. Yeah, it's a van. I'll just drive if there's no these lights become green at one point driving dynamics there's nothing to say but like you know there's the defects I, I went around all of them mechanically it's good so there's uh, yeah not a lot to uh, to add uh, all the 
buses and just drive and uh, yeah on the usual road the cops just there on the left I don't know how the cops in Japan do really to survive summer they all the time have their little helmet and like all the time long sleeves and like they have some sort of bulletproof vest or whatever that yeah I have no idea why they wear that in Japan Cops in France don't even wear bulletproof vests when they're just like patrol. But, uh, and there's no, pretty much like no, there's no guns in Japan. I mean, uh, it takes like a year and a half or something to get a hunting license to be able to purchase just a hunting gun. So 12 gauge like regular, like hunting rifle. So yeah, there's like uh, cops. It's a little bit overdone when they wear uh, <laughs> uh, like what looks like what looks to be a bulletproof jacket and a helmet. Always wear a helmet. And the same thing for people who work in a, when they work somewhere, they always wear a helmet. Like a protective glasses when they're doing like stuff that could blind them. No, but they have their little helmets uh, uh, all the time. Paradox of Japan, like they overdo everything except the right stuff. So it's uh, yeah, a bit weird. All right, well I guess that's pretty much. The next light, I'll just stop and uh, just stop the video because there's not going to be much to to add really. Hey, come on. Turn right pedal and that big round thing just in front of you. Go for it! All right, red light. Uh, no, green light. So I'll keep on driving. Yeah, I'm doing like 20 right now. Like. You know, there's no traffic or anything, it's just normal, it's just like slow all the time. Hmm. Yeah, actually, if that van were if that van were to be turbo, I'm sure they would have like turbo stickers like pretty much everywhere on the car. So that's that might be a given that it's not turbo. And it's just a bit too slow to be. So in spite of a free speed automatic, it's. I mean, it moves more, it's better than the last automatic K truck that I had. It's noticeably faster. Uh, but I think it's just a high raving five valve per cylinder and engine that's in it, not the not due to a turbo of any kind. It's kind of the first time in my life I'm wondering if there's a turbo in the car. <laughs> All right, anyway, red light. So as usual, if you have any questions, feel free to reach me on the Magazaki Motors website or either on the comment on YouTube or Facebook, search like uh, facebook.com slash Magazaki Motor. And uh, well, that's pretty much it. You're noisy. Oh, there you go. All right, till next time. Bye-bye.